this haul video will be consisting of makeup and clothes. I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks too. And the first place I went to was Big Lots. I found this Wet n Wild eyeshadow trio and it's in Walking on Eggshells. And I've been looking for this palette for a while actually. And the bottom color is supposed to be kind of like a dupe to Kitten by Stila. Which is a beautiful shimmery kind of nude highlight color. And there's great colors. There's a nice highlight color and a good crease color. And I was pleasantly surprised, because I've tried out Kitten by Stila, that um, this color is a pretty good dupe for that, so I'm excited. And then it comes with two little brushes. I also got a bunch of lipsticks at Big Lots. Look at all these babies. They were selling a pack of eight lipsticks for only $5, and so they were all lined up in a little plastic box. The brand is Jordana. I'm actually quite fond of Jordana lipsticks. They're really inexpensive but they still have a lot of pigment to them. These two colors I'm not quite so fond of, Bewitched and Portofino. Bewitched is a black lipstick, just a straight black. And then Portofino is like a dark brown, kind of a dark, dark brown. And although these are kind of weird, I could still wear them for kind of like a crazy look or for costume makeup. And you could even use the black on like other parts of your face if you needed to, like if you're doing like vampire or, you know, like face paint or something, then these lipsticks would work uh, to you. Because if they work on your lips, then they'll be okay on your skin, usually. I can definitely use them, so they're okay. And it was still worth it for the rest of the colors that I got. This one is Gleam of Gold, and it's just this really light pink color. It's got, yeah, it's got shimmer in it and a little bit of like a gold shimmer to it, so it's really pretty. This one is Pinky Girl, and it's similar to the last one, but it doesn't have any shimmer in it. So it's just this really pale, light pink, and it's great for highlighting the center of your lip pretty. Okay, this one's really fun. It's called Gypsy Girl. This beautiful, lavendery purple color. You can see that. It, it has a lot of... Oh, someone's calling me. Hold on a second. Okay, sorry. So as I was saying, the Gypsy Girl. It has some shimmer in it. I don't think it's like over the top purple because it's like lighter. It is a, a pretty true purple though at the same time. Pretty violet. So I'm really excited to try this out. I love purple. It's my favorite color and I'm not really afraid to wear purple on my lips. I've done it before. So hey, this is On Taupe. It's a really pretty nude color. It's a little bit darker I think than most of the nudes that I own. And I think it has a little bit more brown too. It's really matte, um, just kind of a light brown color, so that's nice. This is Florida Sun, Woo! and it's a really pretty a coppery kind of reddish color. The kind of reddy orangey tones in it really stand out like in the sun. I think this would be especially pretty on darker skin tones, but I still wear it and I like it, so. This is Golden Galaxy, and this is the last Jordana lipstick I got. And I actually am wearing it on my lips today, right now, and I'm wearing some like lip liner with it too. It's similar to Florida Sun, but it's uh, ha it doesn't have a lot of red in it. It's more has like a little bit of orange in it, but it's more of just a brown, and it has that shimmer going on too. Yeah. Then I also found this Maybelline lipstick there at Big Lots in Cool Watermelon, and I've been really looking for a color like this, so I was really excited when I found this. It was about a dollar, but if you can tell, it's this really pretty, corally kind of color, and it's, I was actually wearing it in my haul video for uh, Cherry Culture, so that's what it looks like on my lips if you wanted to check out that video. I can uh, put a link for you to check it out. It's a really bright coral color. It's matte, and it's just kind of a, kind of pinkish red. So I really like that. And what's awesome about this also, I didn't even know this when I bought it, but it smells like watermelon. I don't think I've ever owned... A lipstick that was a specific scent like that. The color is cool watermelon and it smells like watermelon. So that's kind of fun when you put it on to kind of smell refreshed. Kind of like you just had some watermelon gum, but you just put your lipstick on, you know. So, I love this. Okay, that's everything that I got at Big Lots. Now I'm going to show you a couple things that I got at Target. Or Target. I don't know why people like to call it that. Okay, the first thing I got I'm really excited about. And it is this beautiful double-breasted raincoat. It's got like brown in it and then kind of a orangey color in some of the flowers there. And then there's a, like a little bit of a light teal color in some of the flowers too. And I really like this combo. I, I really like green and then I also like kind of that corally warm uh, orangey color that, that, that's in there too. 
so it's kind of fallish, but it's also kind of springy at the same time. So that's really cool how they achieve that with, with the colors. It's got these nice silver buttons, and there's also strings here. I like to tie it in a little bow to accentuate my waist and make it look super cute and super flattering. The button goes all the way down here, so it's pretty long, and then there's pockets right here, and there's little ties, and it's got a hood here. Woo! It looks super cute when you put it on and um, tie it. Actually, I'll try it on for you. I was actually looking for a raincoat because I don't have one, and this was on clearance. So it was only $7. I just think it's really cute. I love the pattern, the shape, the cut, everything about it. It's just super cute to me, so it's totally my style. I'll just leave it on. <laughs> oh, and it also has a little place where you can button it up if I wanted to, like, roll up the sleeves and shorten it. There's this little doohickey thing here. And the last thing that I got at the clearance section in Target are these jeans. And, oh, cool feature. So you can see the zipper. See how there's, like, a little star? I just thought that was really cute. I like the wash of the jeans. It's kind of, like... Like almost like a tiny bit like dirty feeling. It's kind of like washed out right here. They look like rider jeans because of the lines across it. I think it looks like rider jeans. I really like the unique feel of these jeans because of the seams that are sewn over like the top of the leg and the back. And zippers on the bottom. So yeah. And you, if you can tell it's like a little bit distressed in a couple areas. So I really like that kind of style. And these were also $7 too. So, um, kind of the purpose of this video was to show you that you can find cool stuff at, you know, like, big lots and stuff like that in, like, the makeup section. Sometimes they have cool brands and they have things, like, on sale. You can get, like, special deals and, you know, and find things that you wouldn't normally find in another place. And then also at Target and stores like that, you just got to check out this clearance. Every time I go to a store, I always check out the clearance. And a lot of times you can find cool things. But don't buy something just because it's a good deal. You need to make sure you know you need it and you really like it. At Target, I always like to check out the clearance sections in the jewelry department, um, where all the clothes are, and then also in the makeup department. You just have to look for those red little stickers, and they're usually their clearance items are like at the bottom. So, thanks for hanging out with me outside. Bye.